like, I wouldn't bullshit you and be like, oh, cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my office next door, but I'll be around here somewhere nice. Who's little ass head? Uh, <laughs> like a huge gym town is good. Or like, not huge, but. <laughs> What up guys, welcome back to CEO's Corner. Last week we covered the digital assets of the rebranding. This week we're covering the rebranding in some real life items. So we also have Silent Mike and Bryce with us who are our athletes, two of our three athletes. And we just wanted to show them, they already have some of the stuff on. Silent Mike has the Infinity on and Bryce has the Serif hoodie. And so this is our primary logo, like we stated, where that's like our hardcore, that's our number one logo. But to also show a little bit of flexibility and variation, we have the Serif, which is our secondary logo to add a more casual um, feel to it. I think when we were designing these things, it was really important for us to have the primary, which is kind of like the hardcore and the dominant. And then like our, our brand is built off of like this dual juxtaposition. As much hardcore stuff as we have, we also have stuff that are more casual and more like classy looking. Yeah, yeah. hoodie inside the gym, hoodie outside the gym. Yeah. So I've seen most of them. Uh, the pink tee, yeah. the pink long sleeve. Clean, I like just a clean logo, uh, but if it's the pink, nice. I've never worn pink in my life, but it's like a like a white pink. I don't know if that makes sense. Like it's just clean. Uh, and yeah, I think anybody can wear it. And then that jacket, those are probably the two favorite. This one isn't even coming out until. So that jacket's not even out. Yeah, this That's this cool. jacket is technically invisible. <laughs> <laughs> and then this uh, overall logo is probably my favorite. This thing right here. Yeah. Like I like that uh, uh, font. Uh, and then the school. This is definitely my favorite. Like uh, of all things, I really like just how clean it is in the front, and then you have like something pretty dominant on the back. Um, when Bart showed me the, the new logo and the rebrand, like two, three months ago or something like yeah. that, uh, I was blown away by, by the work that was done. Like just how cohesive it is, and just like so Bart updated in terms of the brand identity. So uh, I just love sporting that logo, and I've seen some of those stuff that is in the pipeline, and it's all just bonus logos. Yeah, so like a lot of this rebranding, we're revealing it now, and you guys are a few weeks ahead of our actual release, but a lot of these things we've been having in the works for a while, like Bryce was saying, for a couple of months, and it's important for us to include our athletes. I know when I was at the factory, I think like a month or two ago, I was like texting you guys, check this out, here's this new sneak peek, and all that was showing was just kind of like the little reflective labels that we have made now, and we kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to own like the reflective one, because I think we've seen red, we've seen white, we've seen a lot of brands like Diamond tries to own that turquoise. Yeah, yeah. But for us, we're like, how can we how can we take something that hasn't been owned yet? And then we're like, no one has really done reflective and that's still kind of on the stylish but also functional. So we're like, let's go with that. And then so we have a lot of the new branding in actual tangible items now. So um, this isn't the logo, this is just a B. We actually got 14 skateboards made. So it goes barbell brigade all the way across. Yeah. And then so we're gonna post it somewhere here in the office. We're also uh, in the process of designing the office. And these are just different manifestations of the logo. This is something I really like, yeah. where there's a lot of flexibility. Yeah. Like one of the things that kind of sucked with the old logo, like the one that you have right here, um, is that that's the only form it can exist in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's up. Yeah, and every other form that we try to adjust, it just ends up not working. And then so we're, we're kind of like pigeon held to something versus this, it's like, oh, maybe this is on the side of a sun, like sunglasses, yeah. not that big, but like, or on a t-shirt. And then this one ended up becoming the label on this invisible jacket that you guys see right now. <laughs> that you, yeah, what jacket? This, this is later on November stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we got like, like a little towel. I think uh, we got this from Nadim's dad, hence the, Afghan frills, and then we have, <laughs> yeah, and then we have a uh, like little necklace, yeah, pins, little fanny pack. Some of these things we don't even know if we're gonna put into production. Yeah, just to give you like a broader idea of what's possible, kind of things I'm looking at, yeah, just samples. Yeah, like that ammo can. I mean, that's nothing to do with lifting. Yeah, yeah. it looks sick on the uh, navy though, on the, yeah. like the dark green. Yeah. Yeah. Laser. yeah, it's laser dead. Laser that's dope. 
Yeah, and then so like for us, we got that made because Barbell is edgy and clean. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for us, it's like, if we're gonna grow the brand, how can we apply that? It's more of the style and mentality and aesthetic yeah. rather than just strictly lifting things. Because I think the go-to is, oh yeah, let's put this on a barbell or on a plate or on some chalk or whatever. And we're like, well, how can we grow beyond that? And we, we got that made. Yeah. These are like uh, girl hair bands. Makes me want to grow my hair back. Yeah, if you get your man bun back, you can That's put this on. Could. You rock man bun too. I have one for a while. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was really good. Really? It's just, yeah. I don't even remember you in a man no, bun. No, no, it was before. It was in the young days. It was probably oh. 20. It was probably, yeah, nine years ago. It was really Did good. Did you have this besides the shape? No, 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 no. I was not head. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it like goes to a little afro and then it just goes to a floppy afro and then finally the man bun. Sounds disgusting. Wait for it. <laughs> And we also got this license plate, which I actually want to get one from my car. For the people that are diehard Skull fans, yeah. this is kind of like fan service, where we wanted something that is simple, unique, and clean to grow the brand mm -hmm. and make it you know, very Barbell Brigade, and this can be an application. Like, like one of the things that we did was take this, put it next to Nike, Adidas, Reebok, and see how it lived and actually look like it fit. Yeah. So like, cool, like we, we hit the professionalism, but then I think for our super fans that are like, well, what about the skull, like in that logo? Yeah, yeah. So we, we had to make sure that we still kept it true and have that skull. Yeah, I love like all the little components too, like even the font in this one. Each font is slightly different, but the yeah. font in the dumb will leave the LA. But they're all custom too, yeah. which is so badass. Like they all have this unique feel that, that no one else has. But this definitely has that like in the gym feel yeah. to it, you know, like lifter crew, like they all love that. And they even give a nod to, you know, the empty barbells too. Um, I'm all about it. This is one thing I was actually uh, kind of um, scared of before, where back in the days, like we used to do all these fit expos, and then you would see all these companies that represent the barbell, and they put the barbell in a lot of their graphics. Yeah. And I'm like, man, that looks so fucking cheesy, because yeah. the way they did it, it, it just looked like it's super on the nose. And then uh, when I looked at all the designs that we came out with, it actually made me feel proud of the barbell. Because a lot of the surf companies, like they promote the surfboard yeah. like crazy. Like, yeah. yeah, I surf and I'm proud of that. These designs and some of the other ones that are coming out were the first time where I actually saw a barbell in a design. And I'm like, that's dope. I'm down to represent that. Yeah. And we also have a bottle over there, an Algene bottle. Sick. Little rubber Little wristband. wristband. When you showed me the new brand, like my eyes were literally wide uh, at just how much work went into this, how much thought in, in not only like creating the logo, but in you know, who it applies to, how, how applicable is this, how recognizable is the logo, um, and all that stuff. So yeah, I, I was floored. Yeah, I like the application and the uh, like variety of layers. Like you're talking about like, you could wear this outside the gym and some like real meatheads might, yeah. um, but it is like a gym piece. Uh, but you take that skull out and you just have the rest of it. Uh, and this B uh, looks like the main logo B, and obviously, you know, the B's and the font are, are different, but near the same and you can rock it. Uh, probably, you know, out to a nice dinner or something, depending on, on the application of it, like the skateboard, or like the license plate, it can kind of fit everywhere. Yeah. Because uh, I, I had very similar feelings to you about barbells, um, where I, I hate it on every Usually design. it's really cheesy. I've hated every design I've ever seen on it, uh, except for something like this, where I do feel like 10 years from now, uh, that's going to be the, oh yeah, like Barber Brigade's a uh, 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 clothing company, but they started in, in a gym. Yeah, yeah. That's the vibe it gives rather than like, oh, this is what we heads were like. Like this is the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is a little bit of the stuff. Um, I can't wait to share with you guys the full apparel line next week. You already seen some of it. Like Mike's wearing a shirt, Bryce is wearing a hoodie, I'm wearing an invisible jacket, and I have another invisible shirt underneath it you that's this add, color. Uh, the invisible material. <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. Like that'd be, uh, pretty valuable. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how. It's gonna be patented, so we yeah, have a bunch, a, yeah, a bunch of invisible stuff, yeah. but next week it will be visible, and I can't wait to show you the full line and everything that we're doing. It's really important to really push that beautiful juxtaposition that Barrel Brigade is all about. So you'll see a lot of hardcore stuff, a lot of clean stuff, a lot of more fitness oriented stuff, and a lot of more streetwear oriented stuff. See you guys next time. I'll see you this time. See you tomorrow. You know what you should do? Um, see you yesterday. You should have like a green I see you in my dreams. And a green background, just green screen it so you literally all <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, just clear. And I just lock it around. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs>